What up, y'all? This is We Shoot Films. We talk about cinematography, product reviews, anything dealing with a great image, when we also talk about the amazing Unreal Engine. So if you're into all of those things, make sure to subscribe. You know what I mean? Today, though, we're going to do a product review about this amazing light from G-Unit. And I'm really saying this for real. This is a G200. And this thing, I'm telling you, is amazing. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, so hope everybody been doing good. Again, I appreciate every one of y'all. But today, we're going to talk about this product, man, the GU sent me, the G200. It's G'd up all the way. I love their lights on some real stuff. Though. I ain't saying this. I know there's a lot of light companies out there. But, yo, the way they making these lights so small, you know what I mean? The, the way they making these lights so small is crazy, you know what I mean? And powerful, though. You know what I mean? So this is the G200. They also sent me the G300, which I'm about to do. I'll hit you with that next week. But um, I love these lights for real though. Let's get into what's dope about these lights. All right, so it's bi-color, 200 watts, 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. But the crazy part, if you put this in max mode, Yo, it hits 300 watts. At least that's what they saying. It's hitting 300 watts. So that's bananas. It's Bluetooth, so you know there's an app and it works great. We're going to show you that later. Fan noise ain't that bad at all, so don't trip. We're going to talk about that a little bit later more also, but it's cool. For y'all who care, the CI Rise is 95. The TLCI is 97. One light, three modes. You got the normal mode. You got the live mode, so it turns on automatically when the power is on. Then you got the music mode, so if you're having a party and you want the lights to react with the music, there you go. It comes with a real nice case, love it. Of course, it's small, lightweight. I mean, what can you say? It's just easy to travel with, man. I mean, you got two pieces, you know, pretty much. It's your standard Bowens mount as usual, so it's gonna fit any Bowens mount diffusers or modifiers that you might have. Let's keep it 100. We know lights, I mean, we've got so many lights. But what makes this light so dope is it's small and it's bright. And I'm telling you, man, I love this light. I got a lot of lights. And most of these lights are like this big and they have all this stuff attached to them and big old cables and a big... This ain't got nothing like that. This is very simple. It's very well made. It's strong. It's sturdy. I mean, I can't even... There's no complaining. I ain't got nothing to complain about, really, about this light. It's just an amazing light that I think brings a lot of value. And I have to say, it has definitely replaced all of my bigger lights because they're so bulky. I just leave them until I really need them. This light is on me all the time. Any project I go to, any place I'm there, this light got it. And it's solid. You know, it's real solid and built. You got the fan in the back right here, okay? Obviously, the bonus mount is right here. And right here is the press. You press this in order to put it in and snap it and all that stuff, or to, or to release it, that is, all right? This right here, it's, it's like a plastic, hard plastic, but it's strong. It's very strong. And, and it, you know, you can maneuver this like nothing. It's very strong. Once you tighten it down, this ain't going nowhere. So I love how they built this. And they have a umbrella right here. All right. They got an umbrella so you can put your umbrella, mount an umbrella here if you ever need it. I don't do much of that, but if you do, you got it. And you know, it's, it's not heavy. You know, it's got a little weight to it, but it's not heavy. I mean, look how small this is. Like for real though, like this is pumping 300 watts. This is amazing. And then you have the other boy, the controller, right? So you got this. And then you got the controller right here. This is the controller, all right? I've had people say, I've heard people talk about the fan noise that it's ridiculous. And it really isn't. When you're just doing regular mode, it's fine. It's the fan noise is not bad at all. At least for me it's not. Maybe it's I'm just used to it, but it's not bad. And even when I put it in max mode, all right? I put it in max mode and yes, you hear the fan a bit more. But nowadays, with the stuff we got going on with the voice isolation, man, that ain't nothing, yo. This ain't, it ain't nothing. I would not trip at all. You know what I mean? Now, am I gonna put it like right there near the mic? No. Who does that? Nobody does that. Actually, I did a little quick test of the noise. So let's go into that real quick right now. All right, so this is just a quick test. Um, 
I, I got it on max mode. I don't have the light on me because that's just too bright and I couldn't be able to see. But I want to, people talk about this fan noise stuff like it's really a situation. I think people are too picky with their noise, with their fan noise. I mean, I get it. But nowadays you can clean all this up. So right now I have right here the Godox wireless audio. All right. And I'm, I got this at max. So it's pumping. Max has been on for over, over an hour on max mode, all right? And I'm gonna stand right next to it and be quiet. Now, can you hear it? Of course you can, yes. Now let's say we're doing an interview and it's over there and I'm right here. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is without re noise reduction, one, two, three. Now, this is with noise reduction. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm going to get closer. This is without noise reduction. Now, this is with noise reduction. My point is, People get a little too crazy about the fan noise. They, I've heard reviews say, oh my God, in max mode, this fan is ridiculous. And it's not. I'm standing right next to it. And I can clean this up if I wanted to. So, just isn't true. And over an hour, and it's warm. But I can touch it. Now, the reflector is going to be warm a little bit, but I can still touch everything. Now in front of it, yeah, you're gonna have heat. It's a light. Now I shot that using a wireless Godox microphone that I would have had just had right here. So, you know, take that for what it is. But as you see, it sounded fine, you know? So you can clean up a lot of this stuff that people go crazy about. Oh, the fan noise, it ain't like that. It's not like you blowing a fan right there and it's just, I mean, you hear it, but within a certain amount of distance you're fine i mean like i said if you're putting it right near the microphone that's different but for the most part i don't have a problem using it i'll clean it up do what i gotta do you feel me but if you don't need it in max mode i say don't put it in max mode because you're just using you're just creating you know f fan noise for no reason but even in regular mode you're fine either way i mean all you do to get the 300 out of this to get the 300 watts and put it in max mode, you just press these two buttons at the same time and then you'll see it, it says max. Or you go on your app and just hit max and it'll turn right on. And I'm telling you, I love it. <laughs> Yo, to be able to pump more power if you need it, it's dope, you know what I mean? It dims down real nice. I mean, this one, one it's very simple. You got on top right here, the on and off button. How many, you don't even see this hardly no more. I love just a simple on and off. Just, just that simple, I love it. You know what I mean? One knob is to control your dimming and one knob is to control your CCT values. There you go, right here, this is it. This is it right here. I mean, come on, man. When I go travel and I gotta shoot green screen, you know, cause I do a lot of green screen as well, as, as you know, but, I take these with me. I'm gonna take these with me all the time. You know, like I said, I have the G300, which I will be reviewing next week. And those will be my two main lights, always. Look, come on, man. Anyway, so check it out. I try to see um, how long will it last in max mode, right? Because if you put this, you know, you put it in max mode, it only lasts 10 minutes, five minutes. It, it, it don't really help nobody because it, it, it ain't nothing. So, yo, I put it in max mode, 100%. All right, 5,600 Calvin. And after an hour and a half, it was still going. It was still going. And yes, it gets a little hot, but nothing crazy. Now, you don't want to ever touch the front of any light. But, man, yo, on max mode, it was still going after an hour and a half. Easy. Is there negatives about this? 
No. How can they be a negative? Look, come on, man. Now I've heard people say it's not long enough. You can't put it way up to the sky. The, the cord, this cord here, this cord here, it got this right here, okay? And this connects right to the bottom of it very securely. It just connects right here, all right? Snaps right in, all right? It's, it's nice and tough. It's not going anywhere. When you want to take it out, you just push down right here and it releases. It's simple. Now this here, about six, a little over six feet long, this thing, all right? The power cord that, you know, the power cord that goes under here, okay, to connect, to get your power, it's a, a little over nine feet long, all right? My, my, my ceilings are about nine feet tall. I could put this thing way up to the ceiling and still have enough room to control the light. Come on, there's enough, there is way more than enough. You know what I mean? It's, you're good with this as far as that. Well, let me disconnect it. Um, also, I've heard people put a con out saying there's no V-mount connection to this. So what? That's not a con. Just get yourself, in a, get yourself a portable battery. And there you go. Little $150 portable battery and at max mode, so at max mode is pumping 300 watts around there. It would last at least 30 minutes. Now that's a little 150 watt, you know, portable battery. You know what I mean? So it's like, there's no con to this. I'm sorry, there is no con to this product. This is a perfect product. I don't care what nobody say. They be like, oh, it ain't nothing perfect. It's perfect, man. For what it is, it's perfect. If you're looking for a light that's between, or a company that makes lights between 60 to 500 watts, here we go, right here. Nowhere else to look. Now, I'm not hating on you other companies. Y'all make some dope, dope lights too, don't get me wrong. I love lights, but I'm just saying, man, look how small it is. I love it, it's great. The app is great. I don't see a con, all right? And if I find one, I'll let you know. But for now, Ji-Yoon is all good with me. Some people just be too, like, too picky. Like, I don't know where they be. Whatever, man, let me chill. You know what I mean? You also get a dope reflector, all right? This reflector is nice. You get this also. You know what I mean? It's a reflector. The bag. The bag is dope. It's a nice bag, and uh, I appreciate it. Ain't nothing else I can say about no bag now. All right, so what you gotta do, go on your app, go to the app store, and download, where you at, where you at? Where you at? ZY Vega app, all right? Click on that, turn on, I'm gonna turn this on, I might get a little bright. I'm gonna say reconnect, because I was connected earlier. All right, and there we go. Let me lower this down So, So this is the app. It's a basic app. It's not RGB or nothing. So, you know, you got your basic stuff here, but it does have your daytime, you know, tungsten, modeling lamp, this pro sorry, this pro sorry, this pro seum lamp, this pro seum lamp. I don't know what that is really. I'm gonna have to look it up. Fluorescent lamp, sunlight, and xenon lamp. Xenon lamp, whatever. All right, you got your brightness right here. And you got your 2700 Kelvin to 6500, all right? Let's go back to the daytime. All right. Now you also got down in the bottom here, CCT gels, which is cool. You know, you got full CTB and, and, and you know, three, four CTB, one half CTB. You got the CTOs. You got all of those down here. And then you got the CCT pair. So CCT pair is basically, I believe, if you're somewhere and you're trying to match, you know, 
but the Calvin of that room, you can match it. You know what I mean? But that's about it. It is very simple. It's very simple. As soon as you download the app, you turn on the thing, it's going to see it. You know what I mean? Just make sure your Bluetooth is on. When you hit max, it goes to 4,300. But anytime you hit max, like right now, I'm going to hit it again. It's going to go to 4,300. It went right to 4,300. Don't know why. It's weird, but it does do that. And also, if I didn't say, you can also go through them in increments like that. All right. You can hit them like this. You can do the same with the Calvin. You can just click on it and it'll, it'll change. So also, if you want to put this in music mode, all you do is press the CCT down. And you see it turns into music. And as you see, it's reacting to my voice. This is an amazing light. This brings a lot of value. Um, and I'm not just saying that to say it. This is really a dope light. And even though, like, even though when I shoot my green screens and I do a lot of Unreal Engine stuff, I depend on good lighting. I depend on my equipment. That's why I still do product reviews because I can't, it's not just about Unreal Engine. It's not just about that. It's about the product that these products, these lights help me create and form that scene for Unreal Engine, you know, for the people that I shoot on green screen. So it's very important what type of lights you use, the modifiers you use, and all of that stuff. So if you're into that stuff, look at these lights, man. They're very good. If you want to check them out, I have a link in the bottom. It's an affiliated link. You know, it's nothing more on you. They give me a little piece. If you, if you, if you buy through my link, you know what I'm saying? They give me a little piece, which helps me out. So I want to thank y'all for watching. She Yoon for sending me out this light. And um, all the supporters, man, you know, I, I appreciate it. Got more coming, more reviews, more Unreal Engine, more everything. Just stay connected. Please subscribe. You know what I mean? I see a lot of y'all watch, but don't subscribe. It ain't nothing. Just subscribe. It's free. You know what I mean? Subscribe. Hit the bell on the side so you get notified on time. And like I always say... It is what it is. I'm out, y'all.
I mean, let's keep it real. Who's beating this like nobody? Facts. Right now, right now, Z Yoon got it on lock. Period. They got it on lock as far as the smallest, brightest, cheapest, dopest. They got it on lock as far as the smallest, brightest. They got it on lock as far as the smallest, brightest, dope lights. They got it on lock as far as the brightest, smallest, creative looking lights that's out in the spot, period. Everybody is copying them. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. They on top right now.
Now, my ceilings are about nine feet tall, and this is definitely long enough, this control box, to reach. I can go all the way up to nine feet and still have room for this. So, definitely long enough. I don't know what people are talking about. Um, I mean, if you have, if you got to throw it up 12, 13, 14, 15 feet, you're going to need extensions eventually, regardless. But it's good. And plus, there's an app. So, don't trip.